Okay, this is the Game is on 100 here with the video, and in this video I'm going to be talking about the Chicago Bears Arizona Cardinals game. Uh, let's get started. Uh, the Chicago Bears ending up on the winning end against the Arizona Cardinals, 16 to 14. I was a little worried at the start of the game. The Bears gave up two uh, quick scores to Arizona, and the Bears shut them out the rest of the way. Uh, the Bears defense really stepped up from the second quarter on. Offensively, there's some things I'm going to be talking about offensively, what the Bears could have done better. Uh, but defense was outstanding again. Um, no complaints from the defense this week. They they held them to under 300 yards on offense, which is good to see that the Bears' defense is doing pretty good. And uh, hopefully the Bears can continue with this. The Bears had four turnovers on the day. Uh, three... Three interceptions and a forced fumble, which was uh, good to see. Um, offensively, um, the Bears has to do a little bit better offensively. Mitchell Trubisky, he had a good percentage rise with passing, but he has to minimize that one uh, fumble and the one pick that he had. Um, if he would have, if he dropped the football, all he had to do was just drop down and get down the ball and. Uh, Live for another day, but uh, he he dropped the ball out of his hands and he fumbled the football. He should have just dropped on the ground instead of picking it up. He should have just dropped down on the on the ground, cover the football to prevent the uh, the fumble recovery from the Arizona Cardinals. The one pit that he threw, he threw it a little off a little bit. He got tipped and it got picked up. Uh, like I say about those pit those the uh, tipped passes. Um, those are 50-50 balls. It just depends if it's going to get caught or not. Um, it was just ended up in the defender's hands for another week in a row. But uh, after that, Mitchell Trubisky uh, settled down. He did chip away at the uh, Arizona Cardinals offense. The Bears were able to get a one-yard touchdown run on Jordan Howard. Uh, Jordan Howard got his first touchdown on the season. Um, the Bears used Jordan Howard a little bit more this week, which was nice to see. Um, on the day, uh, Trubisky was 24 or 35, 220, no touchdowns. He did throw that one pick and then had one, uh, fumble. But other than that, he had a good completion percentage. Uh, Trubisky has to do a better with the football, throw the deep ball just a little bit more accurate with the deep ball. But, uh, they did get a one play for a 39 yard catch with, uh, uh, Allen Robinson did catch a 39-yard pass from Trubisky downfield. So that was the Bears' longest play of the season. Uh, Jordan Howard had 24 carries for 61 yards with the one touchdown. Terry Cohen had five carries for 53 yards. Uh, Trey Burton was the Bears' receiver today, four catches for 55. Allen Robinson had three catches for 50. Uh, Anthony Miller had four catches for 35. He was... Injured earlier in the game, he came back and he got injured again. They said he dislocated his shoulder. Um, they don't know how long he's going to be out. So hopefully he can come back uh, later on in this season from that. Um, defensively, the Bears was outstanding defensively. Uh, they managed to go under 200 yards passing against Arizona Cardinals. And... Running-wise, they stopped the running game again. Um, on the day for Bradford, it was with 13 and 19, 157, two touchdowns, two interceptions. Even their rookie Rosen had was four for seven for 36 yards, and he had that one pick that he threw. That um, yeah, Johnson had 12 carries for 31 yards. Um, the Bears stopped them against the run and the pass today. Which was nice. The only leading receiver for them was Kirk. Seven catches for 90 yards. Seals Jones had a touchdown grab. He only had one catch. That was that touchdown. And their running back, uh, Johnson, had four catches for 30 yards. He also had that one touchdown as well. But other than that, Larry Fitzgerald wasn't, uh, wasn't an option out there. So that was uh, nice to see. Uh, defense, the Bears got four turnovers. Uh, Khalil Mack got two sets and a forced fumble today. Um, that is uh, good to see. Uh, Khalil Mack just made the Bears' defense a whole lot better, uh, in my opinion. And everyone knows that the Bears' 
really relied on their defense for the win this week. Uh, next week, we got the Tampa Bay Buccaneers coming to Soldier Field next week. I'm not going to be giving my hopes up for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. It's a game the Bears should win. We should win next week, going to the bye at 3-1. and 3-1 and one at the bye is better than 2-2 two and two at the bye. Um, if the Bears, for the first time since 2013 or 2014, that has been over like 1,059 days that the Bears are in are in first place in the division. They have a winning record at 2-1 and one right now, so that is uh, good to see. Hopefully the Bears can continue on the upward uh, during the season. Um, I know after we got the, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, we got a bye, and then we play four games against the AFC East coming up. And the Bears probably got some winnable games against the AFC East. The uh, New uh, New England Patriots didn't look to look pretty bad against the Detroit Lions. Uh, Miami is a surprise. Uh, Buffalo uh, surprised the Minnesota Vikings yesterday. Um... The Jets, they're, they're a little, you know, iffy. They should have won against the Cleveland Browns. They should have won that game. Um, but uh, we'll see what the Bears will do against the AFC East this year. There's a good chance they might end up, uh, maybe they can go 2-2, two 3-1 and two, three and one against the AFC East if they can do that. That would be all right. I know last year the Bears swept the uh, AFC North uh, last year. Out of their five wins, only had one win in their in their conference and four wins against the AFC North. They only got five wins on the season, but all four of their five wins that came up the AFC North. That is a little strange, but that's what happened last year. Uh, Mitchell Trubisky this uh, week has to. <clears throat> Play better football this week. I know it's a, a growing process. Even Matt Nagy said it's a growing process with him. Uh, hopefully he can get better next week. <coughs> but overall, a win is a win for the Bears. We'll take the win. I'll take it any way that the Bears can get it. Um, like I said, it was a, the Bears kept on chipping away and chipping away, chipping away at the Arizona Cardinals to get the win. So that was nice to see that they came back from behind to win the game, which is very uh, not so long for the Bears the past few years. They wouldn't uh, just give it up and not win the game. So we'll take it for what it is. Uh, this is the Game is On 100. I am out. Later.